Welcome back to a furry fanfic that's actually good. <laughs> sure. Not, not all fanfics are romantic. I know. So I'm just saying, this is basically a furry fanfic and it's actually good. Anyway, everyone saw the broken arm, broken robot arm on the ground, right? We were basically finding out SPO has now been accused of murdering Sonic and actually trying to basically tell him, like... Yep. Yo, yeah. Clearly a fight broke out here and one of those arms was a casualty. Okay, I did this song, this one is getting annoying. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? No, because there's a track the robot arms used that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could, could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that, so those arms do look powerful, darling. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. It might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet, but I have found I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who, rec who received that information? Amy. Who got information? Amy. Was it Amy? Just, yeah. Amy, you received dot. No, that's you. Sorry. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're, you're right! Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said, uh, so I'm just going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, SPO. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You must... You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? <laughs> and now you're lying to me on my birthday! The four days! I believe the murder used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car, and lied to Amy's casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it cleared everyone. That it only could have been one person. <laughs> it was <laughs> you, SBO! <laughs> you were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh, hey Sonic. Oh, hey Zan. <laughs> hey guys. I hate this. Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, and we're, just as we will solve the mystery, s was the murderer. Right. I got murdered. Espio jumped me and they can knock the car. Dang it, you got me. <laughs> I'll blow that though, really? It's non lethal poison, you'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The trains are bad, Nick. Sonic, are you feeling alright, darling? You need to lie back down? <laughs> no. We all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was ex so excited to tell me about all the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source, the conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. Tweet tweet. Oh, no. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use flicky as a powerful power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor. The train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad neck. It's the conductor's friends. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They are. 
certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right. As we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dog from SBO. SPO left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey! Stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm and sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow. I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! I could knock to scream as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no! Darling. <laughs> Darling. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <It's> yeah. <like, laughs> oh. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gone so serious. Why would you now not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. See? See? Use this point on all Sonic Station, the Canucks car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirror of Mario's Press stuff. What is that? It says use this point Okay, well... <laughs> oh, <laughs> I already read that. <laughs> it's, it's, what is this? Instructions? I was given the boys out along with, the, with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Mm. Where village shouldn't be allowed on the train? What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Jake General, what do you think who do you think attacked Sonic and handed as for the blood dart? The train itself. I believe Sonic's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. <gasps> First we need to learn First we learned the train's a bad nick, now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train is a doubt out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train. <laughs> train. Train. Come on, show yourself! Uh, Amy? It's my birthday! And I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. <laughs> I'm with you, Amy. The train can have it. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Here, I can get him down. Do you want to be the train? Don't touch him. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Is the train talking? Of course I can talk, you fools. You were too distracted playing a little game to figure it out. One million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman. After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying! The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you... Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone grabs something. Hmm. Which one of these buttons turns off the train? Whoa! Sonic! <laughs> Stay put until we arrive. That was good. <laughs> it was funny, yeah? <laughs> Goodbye. Ah! Whoa. No, no. I can't keep my footing. Ah! 
<laughs> you somehow get your food in the train, it's like, no. Oh. Still cleaning. Yeah. Hmm. A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Oh no, my evidence! <laughs> oh no, the door! <laughs> oh, the passageway! <laughs> my heads? Tails? <laughs> Amy? Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? Oh fuck, I remember he's in here, yeah. No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. Where's everyone else? A great question. But well, for now, are you all right? Just like the hedgehog asking about me. Oh my god. I'm hard. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so. Mm. Wow, amazing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, oh, I have a windows. No. I might have overcompensated here. Good. <laughs> Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. <laughs> Lead the way as he stands ahead of me. <laughs> that yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was showing us the weather. Oh, nothing, man. <laughs> well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is, why is no one responding to me? I know that's why Eggman's voice shut off everyone at home. I missed the yellow glow already. Yes, yeah, some nerves show up here, Egghead. Ho oh, ho ho! You spiky blue pest! Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains! You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Thank you, don't uh, talk to me. Ignoring that, they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would have been would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable. The people fear giant spheres and science. Oh no, the moon! Have you not seen Star Wars? <laughs> I cosplay as Darth Vader. <laughs> Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems How convenient. <laughs> Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you know this was happening? Heavens no! I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a Batnik is normally very basic, just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without any of my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of an intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So this concern, concerns it? Concern. Confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me! So I got to thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my Batniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of Batniks. First to capture your pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman. For a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intellectual train. It may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, you dumb blabbering doc, you can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you regret the day you ever crossed me, hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation and being made by Eggman. It's not that powerful. I also don't like how he's wearing a sailor's cap. That's mm. an anchor. We're on a train. Yeah. He's one of the marines. <laughs> so stupid. Anyway. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposefully had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to the Eggman? This whole time, we were all in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor had been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? 
I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey! I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh yeah, sorry, I... I get it, fuck! The world's getting tough. <laughs> it's just like, that's the decision that you got here. <laughs> Easy! <laughs> hey! What did it do? So when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. Oh, can we make this into a blood play, please? <laughs> yes, things are bad. <laughs> I need you here helping me think this through before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Huh, okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe, breathe. okay? We you gotta, gotta get, get to the conduct car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors haven't been heavily fortified. How to I get through. <laughs> Believe in yourself. No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? <laughs> well, I'd speed through the hell out and rescue my friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. We'd call the song, What Would Sonic Do? That. <laughs> Sonic would do that. Well, with one big wind-up Sonic, Spin Dash was fast you, enough to get an air Oh, it's a fan. Because okay. I don't think everyone wants the aircon. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> oh, just anything that gives, gives air. Because Jesus, it gets so humid in this room. Everything Every time gives e air, do you want a tree? <laughs> <laughs> Every time, I hope the mic isn't picking that up, but... It shouldn't, it should be fine. But, but every time we do a recording session, I'm always leaving sweating. <laughs> hey, now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. But hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Let's, Let's do, do it! it. <laughs> That's the spirit. Let's go find our friends. Do the conductor card. End this mystery. Dude, I actually want to make this through a musical now. <laughs> <laughs> What oh. would Sonic do? Alright, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. I'm in my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to burst through the ne next door too. Ready? Let's do this. <laughs> I can stop them. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> You're doing great. Thanks. I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> two. <laughs> Fucking two. What is he just face playing into No, I just keep going. <laughs> Can you imagine if he just straight up face playing into a fucking thing? Look at you go. I, I, I want to play a Sonic game now. Like an actual Sega <laughs> Sonic game, not a fucking. This. Fair enough. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Oh yeah, and then, oh yeah, yeah. Then it institutes all the different things you've learned <laughs> to avoid. Yeah, that's right. This one's a lot easier to avoid. Yeah, true. Because the balls, the balls like throw you off. Yeah. And how they look. I missed him. Whoa. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Um, Sonic, hurry up now, buddy! <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, I'm running out of breath! What would Sonic do? <laughs> what would Sonic do? <laughs> Sonic would stick it to that man with the mustache. What would Sonic do? Stick it to the man! <laughs> Brandon, Brave, Scream, and Shout, get all your okay. By the way, actually, funny story, I'm on the way to my mates last night. Um, I was going full throw, well, obviously, yeah, this is. Mm. You all came for us. Of course, buds, move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is get off this stupid train! <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Let's go. Um, so, on the way to my mates, I was, I, I was thinking to the men came on, and I went full throttle, and I can sing that song actually pretty well. However, <laughs> However. I nearly blacked out <laughs> from singing it. Because I, I fully, like, cause, like I fully mm. went for it. And so I did it, and I was like, well, oh, that, that was really fun. Focus on the road, focus on the road, focus on the road, focus on the road. Because I didn't want to black out behind the wheel, obviously. That was... That was... Affected. You were so close. Affected. <laughs> so yeah, so I can sing Stick It To The Man, but I can nearly also black out as well. See, so yeah, that's fun. 
I built this time. Oh no. Shut up, we're gonna yeah, finish yeah, the game, aren't we? No, no. <laughs> Is no. there a lot more? There, uh, there's not a lot, but definitely like it's gonna be like more than one video. More than one video, yeah. Okay. We've still got videos to go, dude. Chill out. I know. I just wanted if we could get it done in one video, we might as well. No, no, no. We no, no, no. There's not still, stretch it out. There's still of like a whole like I reckon like one more video after this one. If you complete right. all of these, we will complete all of these. Yeah. And then yeah, we've got like one video left. Right. I'm gonna fuck it up this time. Who's next? Sonic! It's about time, darling. I think you're supposed to be fast, Sonic. Well, move, you two ready? Always. Let's boogie! <laughs> <laughs> Let's boogie! <laughs> Can you imagine Rouge being like Friday Night Funkin'? <laughs> it's like. It's just a beat, two, one, go. Be in it, be in it. Jesus. <laughs> Papa Rapper. I'd spend my Papa penis the in rapper. the car door. <laughs> the Papa the Rapper. Yeah, Parappa the Rapper. Parappa the Rapper. The PlayStation original. Yeah, Parappa the Rapper. I slammed my penis in the car door. You slammed your penis in the car door. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go. I gotta get a lot less rings in this one. You've gotten faster, holy shit. <laughs> yep. It did say I would get faster. True. Good <laughs> job that was. Did <laughs> <laughs> you fucking see that? Yeah, he jumped into the spikes. <laughs> it was like a little piss. Yeah. <laughs> like. Sonic! Sonic, you're in! <laughs> this is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train! Time to finish this. Next time! We'll finish it next time! Next time! Huh! We'll finish it next time! <laughs> <laughs>